Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, a few months back, I don't know if you can remember, but we did see how to make something called the gratin dauphinois, which were these slices of potato that we cooked in a lovely cream with salt, pepper and nutmeg. But problem is, there was no cheese on top. And everybody asked me, where is the cheese? Because we love cheese. And I said, well, basically, if you put cheese in French cooking, it becomes another type of recipe called the gratin savoyard, in bracket, because it's a different version. And I did say that at some point, I will show you how to make that recipe. And today is the day. So let's cook. So what on earth is the difference between the gratin dauphinois and the gratin of potato with cheese, or in this case with a duo of cheese, because I'm going to use two French cheeses. Well, basically the second version is the home version. It's actually a one pot version. And to make it, well, it's very simple. You're going to take one big pan, you're going to put milk in there, cream, all your ingredients, your potatoes, and you're going to pre-cook everything in one pot. When this is done, you pour the whole mix in a dish, cover with cheese, cook it in the oven, and it's ready. It is that simple. And let's make it right now. Now the potato gratin with cheese really has to be the ultimate comfort food for the weekend. Now the ingredients are showing up on the screen right now, but roughly speaking, this is what we're going to be using. I'm using one kilo of yellow flesh all-purpose uh, potatoes. I've got some full cream milk, some heavy cream, some lovely pancetta that I got from my shop today, uh, some garlic as well, as you can see uh, with the germ remove, salt, pepper, nutmeg, an onion, and these two lovely cheeses are Comté cheese and Gruyere cheese. Mm. Now, potato gratin. We need to cut potatoes and cook them in a mix of cream and milk. So you take a pan, and this is cold milk and cold cream. So I'm pouring Okay. And we need to start cooking our potatoes in a cold liquid, because if we do that in a warm liquid, they're gonna be overcooked on the outside and not cooked on the inside. So this is where I've got my potatoes here. Very important, we need to keep the starch in the potatoes and put it in the milk. So as soon as you take them out of the water, you cut them in rather thick slices. They don't need to be too thin. Immediately after you've cut it, you put them straight into your mix of milk and cream. You take all your potatoes and you repeat the process until they're all done. And now back on the stove. So basically now the hardest part of the job is done. You've peeled the potatoes and you cut them. They are in the cold milk and cream. And for the rest, it's extremely simple. We're just gonna basically season the whole mix. With a little bit of rock salt, a pinch of nutmeg, a little bit of black pepper, all the garlic, and the onions. When all the ingredients are in, you put your heat on medium. Make sure you stir everything in and we're gonna bring this mix to the boil very gently and start cooking our potatoes. So when the milk and cream starts to boil like this, you're gonna count anything between eight to 15 minutes to pre-cook your potatoes and that depends on how thick your potatoes are. So I'll check mine and I'll tell you after how long I've let them in. All right, done. So it took me about 10 minutes, actually, with that thickness of potatoes to pre-cook them. And when you know they're kind of ready, you know, they're very easy to cut even with the back of a knife. Okay, and that's enough. So you turn your heat off, leave this on the back of the saw to rest a little bit, and we're gonna prepare the pancetta. For the pancetta, a bit of oil in a pan. I'm just gonna pan fry a few slices. The pancetta has been flash fried and we are ready to dress up the gratin. Now, dressing up the gratin is very easy. I'm using one of these enamel dishes because uh, they're pretty and I like them. So you take your potatoes with a fine mesh uh, stencil like this. I don't know what it's called actually, like a sieve. And we put one layer of potato first. Once the first layer is in, we're going to add some pancetta. Nicely done. And now we can cover with more potatoes. All done. So the very last step is taking the juice, or basically the milk and cream, and pour it over the potatoes. Now don't overdo it, just enough. Huh? 
And now for the cheese. So sorry, I'm going to use my hands here. But you have to be quite generous when it comes to the cheese. So really spread everywhere. Make sure you cover all of the potatoes. All done, the cheese is on top when I'm ready to cook that gratin. Now for the cooking of the gratin, it's 30 minutes in an oven either 180 degrees Celsius all the way to 200 degrees Celsius, which is like 350, 6 Fahrenheit, all the way to 395. Now because there's cheese on top, you have to make sure it really gets brown and crusty. So I would start at 350 Fahrenheit to start it for 15 minutes, then crank up the temperature a bit higher for the last 15 minutes to make sure you get a nice cheesy crust. And that's ready guys. You want it cheesy and I bring you the duo of French cheese. The gratin is out of the oven and look at this. Oh, look at this stringy stuff. It's everywhere. Cheese crust. Now this is a bit of a different uh, version of gratin than the other ones. It's a bit more moist and you don't eat it straight off the pan like this because it's really really hot. So usually you have to kind of leave it to rest gently so that the milk and the cream can go back into the potatoes and we're just gonna see if they are cooked and yes they are. Look at this. I can mash them up. Nah. <laughs> Wow, mm. yeah, you really have the, the flavor of the garlic. Look at the pancetta, it's all in there. But because it's hot, this is a bit watery. And this is typical when you get it out of the oven. You need to let it rest for at least an hour and it would be absolutely delicious. Honestly, trust me. But that completes our video of the day for the cheesy gratin of potatoes. I hope you enjoy it. And of course, if you like the content, please subscribe, comment, or like the video, I really appreciate. So I see you all next time for another cooking video. Bye-bye.